up you guys, pretty cool films, and today we'll be taking a look at my Earth 2, uh, New 52, Just Society, uh, characters, uh, <laughs> custom, custom characters, or well, based on their, yeah, um, so first we'll take a look at Superman, then we'll take a look at the other four characters, I really wanted to do this because I already made a J. Garrick Flash, and with the Earth 2 comic, kind of somewhat popular and also the, all the other Earth 2 characters I was like you know what why not Earth 2 is kind of big this year with the Flash you know showing off a little bit Earth 2 and then the comic which is well been out for a while but I just decided you know what let's go with it so first we'll start off with Superman then we'll move on to Batman and everyone else so uh, pretty much Pretty simple, just painted a blue body, did the S in silver, red in the background, white cape that I had to paint white, um, normal hands, didn't have to paint those, the face, only had to paint the, you know, face, not the actual, like, skin tone and everything, that's original, and then, uh, hair, sculpted hair, and smoothed it out, and, uh, painted it black. So the character's name is Val Zod, I actually don't know too much about him, I just know he's Superman's replacement. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this character. Uh, not much to talk about. Uh, pretty simple to paint. Not a whole lot of time spent on him. Just waiting for the body. Just kind of a light coat of this blue color to cover up the original Electro uh, figure. Because that's what, that's what it was. It was originally Electro from Spider-Man. Uh, that one Lego set where he had like a trike tricycle or bike or something I don't know fuck what it was yeah. uh just paint a uh, similar shade of blue onto that body just to cover up all the translucent parts and and uh weird electric things going on so um yeah that's pretty much that uh painted on the muscles but they got a little smeared and smudged um painted on the silver for the s the uh, waist part and then the wrist parts and then uh, a basic smiley face nothing too special about the face um, I wish I what hair would have been perfect is uh, the force awakens um, Finn uh, his hair man they actually make uh, an african-american hairstyle for Lego like a legit one <laughs> Kind of a fade or mini fro type style. I don't know what the fuck kind of style that is, but you know it's perfect for. You could. It's a multiple use uh, hair piece. It's not like it's specific to one character. It's, it's very, very widely. You could use it for a lot of characters. Um, I wish I had it for this, but I just sculpted my own hair and um, yeah. So uh, that's Superman. And uh, that's pretty much it for Superman, not much to talk about. So let's move on to the next figure, and that's Batman. So right off the bat, I just want to say that this is my first, um, I guess, first showcase or something like that, where I show a bunch of characters in one video. I usually do a quick video on one character, Lego Custom. Usually at the time, I only make one, but... I made these kind of all within separate times. I made actually some of these last week, I think. Um, maybe two weeks ago. I actually don't really remember when was the last time I touched up on a character. I think I did my Flash last Friday. But uh, anyways, yeah, let's get straight to the Batman. So the helmet was already kind of glued onto the head. So I couldn't really do anything. So I was like, you know what? Use this. Originally it was an Arkham Knight custom, but I had to take off some of the armor, but some of the armor is still there, like for example the shoulders, and then the, the thigh or knee area, whatever, shin area is, um, still has the armor that I couldn't exactly scrape off. <laughs> the chest is a little bumpy because I had to get a Dremel and take some of that stuff off, and I have a, paint, a bit of paint, or um, whatever this is, it's from the Dremel, it's the buffing tool, the buffing wheel. Some of the uh, soft fuzzy bits got stuck on there when I was painting. So now it's got like fuzzy bits all kind of on his uh, chest. 
a pretty simple minifig, just the red belt, the red V-shape, the red bat symbol. Kind of did the same thing on the back. I don't actually know what his back looks like. I know the gray is a bit darker, but I just went with a black wash on top of a medium-ish gray that I painted on originally, which was for the Ark of Night custom. I think was the paint. Well, actually, I had to repaint it sort of this gray, but yeah, it was originally an Arkham Knight Batman custom. So I pretty much dismantled that. I was like, oh, you know, not really liking it so much, so I'll just go with this. Um, so this is Thomas Wayne Batman, his father. Uh, he faked his death or something like that, and then Bruce knew about it later on got mad at him and then there was this whole mix up stir up type thing that happened so um where he's like oh you know you're not my father blah 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 I hate you blah 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 so um and I know at some point he joins the Justice Society I don't know when I'm actually not really reading these comics um but I do know a little bit of background uh in the beginning the or Justice Society I know it's I think Adam Smasher or uh, Adam, or the Adam, I don't know. It it's kind of confusing, but Al Rothstein, or Rothstein, and then there's Kendra Saunders and Jay Garrick and Green Lantern, um, Alan Scott, who is now gay. That's kind of cool, I guess. Nothing to you know special about that. But anyways, I mean that's cool. They, I mean, I don't have anything against gay people, but you know, it's kind of weird that they made that small change or something but you know whatever I suppose um I'm not against it I'm just saying like oh that's not really something incredibly amazing you know but whatever anyways we'll get to that later the Green Lantern Flash and everyone else but uh yeah that's pretty much my Batman just painted his eyes red a different color um I think it was like a holiday red and then this was a gloss red and Pretty much just black. I think some of these were gloss black. And then the helmet was painted a um, gunmetal color before for the Ark of Night custom. But I turned it, or painted it back to black. So uh, that's pretty much Batman. Now let's take a look at Hawkgirl. <laughs>